Today, we're diving into one of the most important systems in aviation, the Instrument Landing System, or ILS. But what exactly is it, and how does it help pilots land safely in poor visibility? ILS stands for Instrument Landing System. It's a ground-based navigation system that helps pilots align with the runway both horizontally and vertically, especially when they're flying in bad weather or low visibility conditions. Let's start with the basics. The ILS has two main components, the localizer and the glide slope. The localizer helps with lateral guidance. It tells the pilot if they are left or right of the runway center line. The localizer antenna is usually placed at the far end of the runway and sends out two overlapping radio beams, one modulated at 90 hertz and the other at 150 hertz. If the aircraft is flying too far to one side, the instruments in the cockpit detect this and tell the pilot to correct the course until they're centered. The glide slope, on the other hand, gives vertical guidance. It tells the pilot whether the aircraft is too high or too low on approach. The glide slope antenna is placed near the touchdown zone of the runway and typically guides the aircraft along a descent angle of around 3 degrees, which is a safe and standard approach angle. In the cockpit, pilots see this information through special instruments, usually a horizontal and vertical diamond or bar. If the diamond is off-center, the pilot knows to adjust the flight path, either left or right for the localizer or up or down for the glide slope. To use an ILS, the aircraft must be equipped with an ILS receiver, and the pilot needs to tune in the correct frequency. Found on the approach chart. Each ILS also transmits a unique identifier using Morse code, which helps confirm the pilot is using the correct frequency for the intended runway. Now, how does a pilot know how far they are from the runway? That's where DME, or distance measuring equipment, comes in. Some ILS systems include a DME signal, which shows the distance to the runway in nautical miles. If you see the letter D in front of the ILS identifier code, it means DME is included. Older systems also used marker beacons, the outer marker and middle marker, which give audio and visual signals when the aircraft passes certain distances on approach. However, these are being replaced by DME or GPS-based systems at many airports. One more thing, ILS coverage has limits. Generally, the localizer is reliable up to about 25 nautical miles within 10 degrees of the runway heading. The glide slope is accurate within about 8 degrees and up to 10 nautical miles out. Some airports even offer a back course for the localizer, allowing approaches from the opposite side, but without a glide slope. So to sum it up, the ILS gives pilots a precise path to follow during landing. Even when they can't see the runway, it's one of the safest and most reliable systems in aviation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation content.